In 1850, Charles G. Fitch oversaw construction of a stately home with a broad veranda on a plateau overlooking the Ottaquiche River to Woodstock Village and Mount Tom. Built on land inherited from his father, the Fitch farm in those days extended over a mile alongside the old river road leading from Woodstock Village to Tassville and then on to Boston. The grand home, caretaker's cottage, and impressive three-story horse barn exemplify the federal and Greek revival influences of architect Asher Benjamin and aspirations of an earlier age. These were intended to establish a new, uniquely American vernacular style and reflect the ancient Greek principles used to build enduring structures carved from stone. Masonry of the period in Woodstock has the unique patina of water-struck brick produced from native clay combined with hand shaping and turning. The forms were fired in coal-fired foundries. A massive timber frame supports the lath and plaster surfaces adorned with wide moldings and select wood flooring assembled by craftsmen using hand tools. The three-story central stairway made of mahogany attests to their skills remaining true after 172 years. Charles added the Greek Revival style barn in 1870 in a residential rather than agrarian style. A vernacular farmhouse followed, now called Potter Cottage, after a family of caretakers who served various owners for over 100 years. Charles left the farm in 1878 to pursue adventure and made eight voyages to Africa before returning to spend his last days in the peaceful valley of his birth. The next owner of record was Vermont surgeon and philanthropist Dr. Edward H. Williams, who endowed Woodstock's Norman Williams Public Library. Following in the chain of title was J. Foster Rhodes, credited with developing fireproof buildings to reconstruct Chicago after the Great Fire. He expanded and updated the home and is credited with installing newfangled flush toilets. The present owners, mindful of retaining the integrity of the 18th century masterpiece, undertook a comprehensive restoration of the buildings and grounds taking nearly two years. Updates include a superbly outfitted entertaining kitchen, spanning the L from east to west, with abundant windows illuminating the Italian tumbled marble floor. The adjacent classical butler's pantry with quarter sawn oak cabinets was refitted and refreshed, and all bathrooms were functionally and aesthetically renovated to the highest standards. A modern mudroom, expansive laundry, and heated garage were added for practical needs, and central air conditioning was installed for comfort during the unseasonable weather of summer. New Zealand wool carpets over horsehair padding were placed in areas benefiting from warmth underfoot in winter. A private elevator was discreetly added to enable alternative access to the private master bedroom suite with its thoughtfully designed his and her closets, dressing rooms, and bathrooms, all appointed with fine flooring fixtures and custom cabinetry. The project was managed by G.R. Porter & Sons using the finest materials and resources, including Dutch-made cabinets, Scalamandra and Schumacher wall coverings and window treatments, plumbing fixtures by Shaws of England and Roll, lighting elements by Curry and Company and Robert Abbey, with original antique fixtures rewired to modern standards. Equestrians, the owner's stable a breed of old world Irish horses, traditionally used for riding and driving. They were attracted to the site by nearby Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Park, with its network of carriage roads and miles of rural roads and trails that surround the property, wandering through the scarcely populated hills and valleys. Expansive pastures were fenced and the handsome barn was renovated from bottom to top, preserving it for generations. Natural features include a picnic spot at the height of land with a sheltering pavilion overlooking the farm to the surrounding hills and valleys and a secluded private park with 1,200 feet of river frontage with direct access for fly fishing. Charles Fitch's gracious veranda still captures cool summer breezes streaming down from the surrounding green mountains and where, if you listen carefully, you might hear the sound of hooves echoing from journeys long ago as travelers passed along the old river road into history.